So today, our vacation of choice, the most realistic one we can convince you guys of, is that we are going to Italy! <laughs> and Gabby and I are both Italian, and we've never been to Italy. Never. So today we are going to be going to some Italian restaurants. We're going to Olive Garden. <laughs> we rented an Airbnb that looks like a hotel. We literally have this down. Um, the only thing we might be bad with is the timing. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside. Look <laughs> how stressed we are, I'm like sweating. It was just meant to be fun and harmless. But I couldn't sleep last night because of all the things I was reading. They were like, stop, we already know what you're doing, stop. We're being canceled. This wasn't just online drama. People from Starbucks <laughs> that saw me earlier That's that day got involved. Got involved in the comment section of my Instagram. Gabby DiMartino, YouTuber, lying she's in Milan when she's really in Olive Garden. Hey guys, I'm Nikki and I'm Gabby and today we're going on vacation, but not really. We're tricking you guys again. So previously we did a video where we tricked you guys into thinking we were wearing designer from our post on Instagram and you guys all fell for it and we did a social experiment to prove that what you see on the internet isn't always true. So today we're tricking you that we are going on vacation. We're going to try to fool you guys with our Instagram stories and our Instagram posts. So today our vacation of choice, the most realistic one we can convince you guys of is that we are going to Italy <laughs> and Gabby and I are both Italian and we've never been to Italy never and yeah. we're, we're trying to go soon though so today we are going to be going to some Italian restaurants we rented an Airbnb that looks like a hotel we literally have this down um, the only thing we might be bad with is the timing Italy is actually at six hours ahead of us Gabby and I aren't really good at like math and like logistics like that. So we're gonna post whenever we wanna post and not think about the time difference because we don't post chronologically on our Instagrams anyway. We like save old photos and post yeah. them. I always do my photo shoots during the day and I end up posting my pictures late at night anyway. So it's like realistic if like the outside lighting doesn't match what time zone it really is in Italy. So let's get this started. Let's start tricking our followers. <laughs> We're going to Olive Garden. <laughs> Should I say Italy? We are at Olive Garden, but we're in Italy. We're gonna trick people on our Insta stories and Snapchat that we're in Italy right now eating pasta or Italian food. And it's really hard because Olive Garden is a chain everywhere. So. Everybody pretty much knows Olive Garden, like from their interior to their even their food. We saw that they have this new thing called the Meatball, meatball Pizza Bowl, and it says new in like, capital letters in red. So because it's new, I doubt anyone knows what it is here. We also ordered sangria and wine glasses. Because we want that wine photo that everybody gets in Italy. I feel like it's a thing, like to have wine. We're ready to take some pics. What do you think about the background? We need to move over and have like this flower. That slabber paint, whatever that's called, was so Olive Garden. This texture it's and like this booth stucco. is Olive Garden. Wait, Gabby, this booth looks like Olive Garden. The beige and the green are very Olive Garden branding. Can we try to cover the booth with like your big furry jacket? I'll sit up higher so that way you don't have to see the booth. So we're gonna use my phone to take an iPhone photo of us drinking this wine with flash to make it look a little more evening-ish. We're gonna be wearing our sunglasses and looking bougie. We should take out the straws. I feel like in Italy they don't use these. Yeah. Give me more towards this plant. This is such a shit show. I'm on my knees in Olive Garden. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we just look like idiots in our hometown all the time. No, that one's good. I'm worried because you do see the booth and you do see the table, but for the most part, it looks like we're getting like brunch in Milan. I feel like my filter is more believable because it depleted the Olive Garden bright colors. So I think this is really believable and I'm gonna post it on my story. I'm gonna get a boomerang of the cheese. Ready, <gasps> set, <laughs> go. There we go. I'll be honest, this is the cool. first time somebody wanted a video of the area. <laughs> 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 Thank oh you. God. I'm going to get a boomerang of me twirling my fettuccine. Ready? That was poor. It worked. <gasps> There's a fan group chat called Are You in Italy with Hard Eyes and an Italian Why? fan. Did you tag Milan? Yeah, look. 
Oh my god, oh no, I feel like we're such liars. An aesthetic picture of my Italian meal and my designer products. <gasps> that looks like Italy. <laughs> oh my god. So my friend goes, that's my girl, get the travel on. I posted a selfie that says Milan, Italy, and everyone thinks we're in Italy. But she has service and I don't, so I can't post any of my stuff till I'm in the car. So Gabby's the first one to like break the silence on the internet saying that we're in Italy. All right, so I had no service at Olive Garden. Gabby was able to start teasing, so I wasn't able to, so I'm gonna start teasing right now. So I chose this wine gif to be like, I'm gonna post. All right, so we need to catch you guys up to speed. We're currently in an Airbnb in Pennsylvania, but we are trying to convince our followers further that we're in Milan because there's an indoor pool, there's a sauna, there's a bathtub with a fireplace. The rooms look like hotel rooms. We swapped out all the food for Italian food and candy and treats and treats. We do have a little bit of an issue. Um, Gabby and I didn't really get on the same page before filming this. So Gabby had been posting Pennsylvania like Starbucks photos all the way up until like four hours before filming this video. We're trying to save face and save this video. So I said those pictures were taken yesterday. And the photos we posted from Olive Garden, we posted what would be at nighttime in Italy, but in the photos it was daytime. So people think it's not adding up. But you know what? I know me and Gabby are really creative and I think this Airbnb is really gonna save it. Yeah, I think we're gonna salvage it with this Airbnb. I'm still getting messages of people thinking we're in Milan. There's just some discussion that maybe it is a trick YouTube video because it is a trend. I did notice our family and friends actually think we're in Italy. Our subscribers are the ones that are like, mm-hmm. We're gonna keep it up. And right now we're gonna scout this mansion Airbnb and find locations, scout locations that we think could help convince our followers further. I noticed when influencers travel, they have more on their stories than just them or what they're eating. They show the streets, they show what the city looks like. So right now I'm gonna go onto Snapchat and go to the location Milan and look at what people are posting on Milan's story and screen record, crop, and put it on my story. I think before we start posting more in here, I think we need to convince them a little further that we're literally walking the streets of Milan and then get into the resort. We gotta do some phone business now. <laughs> so we have some videos that Aaron found us that are from Snapchat Milan. Milan story. I used my Nikki filter on this to make it look like something I post on my story. And this is something I would post. It's Starbucks Milan, it says it down here. And then I'm gonna pose, I have a Starbucks drink, I'm gonna pose with it in the sauna so people think like I was at Starbucks in Milan because I had the geo tag on. Hopefully people think I actually took this video. Okay, I, I think we got our swag back. Explain what just happened. I posted the Starbucks video on Instagram and I posted the fountain in Milan. And everyone's like, wow, we're stupid. They're actually in Italy. From what people see, we're out and about at night right now. So we are going to make it look like we went back to our hotel and we're going to go in the spa and the hotel room and enjoy the Italian snacks. But we gotta give it a good hour so yeah. they know, you know, it has to be natural. We can't just be, oh, out and about at nighttime and then all of a sudden in our hotel. The Wi Fi, I'm gonna go outside. Where's the route? This video is very stressful. I have no idea. Dude, this is a Y'all are skeptics. Y'all are hard to lie to. Look <laughs> how stressed we are. I'm like sweating. I'm posing with my Starbucks because I was at the Milan Starbucks in my Snapchat and Instagram story. It just makes it look more believable. Hey Italy, you like Flash? Should I lay on my stomach so that way it's like an ass pick, like a typical vacation pick? <laughs> that the easy pick. So I'm posting my sauna selfie and I'm not gonna tag an exact spa because anyone could just look at the spa and see if they have a sauna. They could see if it's even open at the hour that I'm posting this. All right, so I just posted the pic on my feed. I wrote European spas with a greeter sign and then a coffee and Milan, Italy. 
Let's see what people say. Okay, so I know I tried really hard with those pool picks, but this is the best we got, and it looks like I'm in LA. So I'm gonna try a different direction and be in the kitchen with all these treats in my robe, look like I'm in a hotel. I look hot. Okay. Oh, that's cute. So, I don't know if Nikki was going through any of the things I was going through, but like, I was getting hate because what we were doing seemed very cruel because apparently it was that obvious that we were faking this. And even though it's a trend on YouTube, I didn't realize the hate that comes with it and that fans think you're abusing their trust. And like, it was just meant to be fun and harmless. And like, I don't know, I just felt really bad. I couldn't sleep last night because of all the things I was reading on Twitter. Like we've seen other YouTubers do this, like going to Japan or like going to another country and like it's in light spirits and everyone thinks it's funny and it makes a great video. We thought, Oh, well, we're Italian. What's one country that's, that suits both of our aesthetics? And that's but bougie. We're like, Italy. I see why they're mad because the, from the, what I was reading in the comments, a lot of people didn't think we were doing this for a video. They thought we were just doing it to flex for no reason and just literally lie. Like, we're in Milan. Like, my fans... When we're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, my fans did not buy... Did, don't, they don't think it's for a video. They think we were just lying that we were in Milan. See, what I've noticed is that it's something interesting. Well, at least I saw this on my end, was everybody knew it was for a video. They thought everyone kept saying it was for the faking the trip to Italy video, but they kept trying to cancel it. They were like, stop. We already know what you're doing. Stop, stop. But then if we don't upload a video, y'all aren't happy anyway. So it's like we were being canceled. Yeah. So it's and like we didn't know what to do because it was awkward at that point. We're like, do we keep making, do we keep filming and make this a video so you guys get something? Or do we just stop because they're telling us to stop because they already caught on? And someone said that I blocked a fan page and like I didn't even do that. Um, but when you're going through a lot of comments and trying to delete comments, like weird shit happens. And I all I remember was going through comments and like quickly trying to delete comments. And then I guess this this fan page I guess had a lot of followers and posted Gabby knew I caught on that they were lying, so she blocked me. She it just blocked got out of anyone. hand. Oh, I need to mention the Starbucks story. Oh yeah. So this is some tea. This is where it gets bad. This wasn't just online drama. People from Starbucks <laughs> that saw me earlier That's that day got involved. Got involved in the comment section of my Instagram. That's why I turned off commenting. Um, basically, I went into Starbucks on the way to the Airbnb. I was in like my feather coat. I had my Chanel sunglasses. I was just like, I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna keep filming this video. I was in such a great mood because it was fun. It was really fun. And so I go into Starbucks and everyone I ran into in there was so sweet to me. And they knew who I was. I, two people were like, hey Gabby, hey Gabby. Like they knew who I was and people were like really sweet and like, oh my God, I love your coat. And in my head, I'm like, bitch, this is for a video, but like, I feel stupid and like this big feather dinky thing, but whatever. I was just like, people are nice. Like I, I was getting such good vibes and I got my cloud macchiato and then I went in the car and when we were posting the sauna stuff and the spa stuff and the pool stuff, all of a sudden I see in my comments a person named Ariana Slarf. Ariana Scarf. S C H A R. I don't know. It has zero followers and zero posts, but it's Probably following a 30. Account. It's following 30 people. It definitely seemed like a trolling account, but it definitely was someone that was at the Starbucks because they commented, I saw the at Starbucks this morning. She's a liar. Can't believe you support her. This person commented like a bunch of times, like every time I delete the comment, it would show up again. And all of my fan pages were seeing that. And basically it was ruining the trust that I have with my fans. So it really, people were taking it to another level. Like when we're just trying to make content for you guys and trying to do something in light spirits, this person from Starbucks literally was like, I can't believe you support this flexing, lying, Yeah, I, I feel like this person from Starbucks clearly didn't know what kind of video we were filming and felt like I was just lying that I'm somewhere bougie just to seem like better than everyone. We knew that could have been a possibility, but we kept going. There were some people in our last video when we tricked you guys that we were wearing designer clothes, some of you guys caught on, but like, 
it was all in good spirits. But this just went to another level because I think it looked like, like people are making collages of my meatball bowl and comparing it to Olive Garden. The worst part was like, People were like, Gabby DiMartino, YouTuber, lying she's in Milan when she's really in Olive Garden. And like, it just looks so bad. But that so was bad. funny. Our biggest mistake was filming in Olive Garden first. We and just thought that's our humor. We're going to Olive Garden. We thought it would be funny if we could get away with lying to you guys in Olive Garden. If we could do that, then what can't we do? Olive Garden is the most known Italian restaurant. So I guess we aim too high. We are at Olive Garden but we're in Italy. And it really made this whole video flop because everyone knew it was Olive Garden. The last thing we should have done was Olive Garden when people started catching on. Yeah. We started off weak and that was our fault. Oh, and people found our stories on the Milan story. Yeah, that, I think that was even worse because once they saw that, it solidified that, oh my God, okay, this is fake. One thing I did notice though, and it's really good to know, is we didn't fool our subscribers, but we did fool our, our friends, friends and family. Oh my God, do you know how many people texted me, bitch, are you in Milan? I'm so proud of you, you're in Milan. But like our subscribers knew we weren't, but like all of our friends and family, our mom thought we were in Milan, okay? Our mom texted, wait, I have all these screenshots. So our friend Allie goes, OMG, you're in Italy. And then um, our friend Mary texted me, LOL, are you guys trying to prank or not? Like she didn't know if we were or not. Our mom texted us both in a group chat saying, Milan, Italy? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I think the biggest inside joke was Olive Garden. People are like, how's your Olive Garden pizza? Who you fooling? No one goes to Milan and eats Olive Garden. This is a good observation. Y'all are smooth. This person said, Nikki got a pic of Italy from Snap Maps. Your Italy pizza is from Olive Garden. It's nighttime when you posted a pic in Olive Garden and it was clear sunlight. Nikki has a mic on her. Hmm. People saw I had a microphone on me in that photo so they knew we were filming a video. Holy, I didn't even think of that. Y'all are smart. We fooled our friends, but we didn't fool you guys. If she was actually in Italy, we would have had so many fancy vlogs of her packing and preparing for it, and we would have known about the trip for months. Girl, you lie, and we see straight through you. Love you, bo love you both, though. That is so true. I make trips such a big deal on my vlog channel. Like, I think what really gave it away, though, was the no. Olive Garden waiter. No, it was the Olive Garden waiter grating the cheese. <laughs> There we go. And you got a boomerang <laughs> of his groin in the window. <laughs> a fan screenshotted and reposted your boomerang and they pointed to the window and said, it's light outside, but 8 p.m. in Italy. That, Gabby, that gave it away. Yeah. We just, our humor got ruined this video. Like yeah. we thought it was so funny. I just don't think we can lie to them though. Always know. We can lie about wearing designer clothes, but I think lying about being in Milan you gotta be like really smart to do it. Not that we're not smart, but I don't think we put the work into it to really get the logistics down. Yeah. It's I, more than just cute photos. I think it was just like, I felt like we were being too funny. Yeah. We weren't like taking it seriously. Like we wanted enough. to start off with our Olive Garden because we were the most excited to yeah, do that. Yeah, that we were the most excited for Olive Garden. Um, I feel like this is like gonna go down as like the Nikki and Gabby video fail. So next time we even try to pull something like this, we're gonna have to wait a long time because this video just like kind of- I don't want to do it again. It was, pe people were harsh. But how come the designer one didn't go this way? Because, because they fell for it? So many people flex with fake shit on Instagram. It's nothing new, but no one in the right mind has ever like flexed to look like they're somewhere bougie and they're not. And that makes us look like cowards. Yeah, when people like know we're clearly not there. Yeah. All right, well, uh, this video, um, it was a good concept. Fail. But yeah, it was a fail. We have a fail. And we'll see you guys in our next video. The end. Bye, we're not in Italy. You won. I think.